Hello, this is Tristan Todd with Tentry's tech marketing team. In this video, I want to demonstrate an exciting integration with a cool partner of ours. Enterprises have multiple options for hosting cloud-native and virtualized applications, from private cloud data centers to any number of public clouds. But how can a traditional IT department bridge gaps between multiple cloud deployments and simplify management? How about using a combination of Tentry Enterprise Cloud and a powerful cloud management platform like CloudBolt? Tentry serves as a fundamental enterprise cloud layer. Tentry's APIs and ability to operate on individual VMs, vDisks, and containers puts the agility of public cloud into the enterprise data center. CloudBolt integrates that private footprint with public clouds in a single, seamless cloud management platform and enables self-service with centralized control. With CloudBolt, IT departments become an internal service provider for a multi-cloud environment. Cloud consumers get instant access to the servers, applications, and services they need without having to worry about underlying infrastructure. And CloudBolt's platform helps developers and cloud admins leverage automation and orchestration for things like copy data management, continuous monitoring, and troubleshooting. Let's check out a quick demo. I'm now gonna log into my CloudBolt environment. I've created a fictitious company called Fogtree Capital Management. I'm going to go ahead and log in as an administrator of user. I met with a dashboard that includes a uh, listing of servers by environment, a listing of the servers that have been assigned to me, various groups in my organization, and then a number of blueprints. And you can see that I've got some uh, vSphere uh, blueprints, I've got some Veeam blueprints, and uh, even a little bit of Tentry blueprints configured. Um, I also have a record of my recent activity. And uh, what I want to do is I want to show uh, some basic server config. What I want to do now is pull up a uh, server view to show you uh, some of the operations and information I can get out of CloudBolt. I'm going to search uh, for a server by name. And once I pull up my server, I have a series of controls over on this left navigation pane. You can see that I've got some vSphere controls. I can execute power operations, restarts, uh, change configurations, and whatnot. I can also access console view, which is really handy if I'm a server owner. I get lots of information pulled from the vSphere API, including some of the information that I would look to vCenter to provide. Uh, I get some basic disk information, A little bit of network information. A history of jobs performed on this system. And the history tab shows me what's been happening with the system uh, on the back end. And I get some basic statistics for the system, uh, particularly the CPU and memory statistics pulled right out of vSphere. So uh, that's all helpful information. I'm going to now click the Tentry tab and access the Tentry integration. I've got some basic capacity information here at the top of the top of the page. I've got a 24-hour view of the data here. I've got my IOPS view. Uh, notice the max line here is flat at the zero point. If I had set QoS, that would actually be listed here. I can see how the QoS policy is affecting things. Uh, over in latency, I have uh, all of the typical uh, Tentry goodness when it comes to latency. I can see my storage latency, my network latency, and my host latency. So I can really get an, a, an idea of how the virtual machine round trip latency is being affected by different layers of infrastructure. So I can zoom in here. I notice I have a short spike. It's pretty low amplitude. It's only one25 uh, milliseconds, and it's host latency. So the storage is fine. The, the storage network is fine, but we have a very, very isolated spike of host latency. If this had been a more dramatic spike or something that's periodic, I could dig a little bit deeper and find out the uh, time period when it was occurring, find out if I have some kind of a host process or maybe an overloaded host where uh, latency is becoming an issue at the hypervisor layer. Down to throughput, I can select my reads and my writes and get an idea of my read-write mix. And here it looks like I've got a nice balance of 50-50 read writes for the I.O. on this system. Up at the top, you'll notice a uh, drop down all Tentry actions. I've only got a single action configured in my environment. I'm leveraging the Tentry APIs to request a snapshot. So I will click. So I put in my snapshot uh, name. 
prior to soft software install. Select run. And that job is submitted to the CloudBolt job scheduler. I can go out and look at the job ID and I can see how long it took to run and I can get a history of it. So it took two seconds to run. I've got a history of this uh, action in the server log. So this is nice from a server lifecycle uh, perspective. So I can go into view log. So if I need to, I can actually look at the details of what action was performed. I can see an API call being made out to the underlying VM store there. That's all well and good. And this actually highlights how we're integrating with Tentry in the CloudBolt interface. So I'm going into the administrative configuration and we'll take a look at the available server actions. So under server actions, here's my Tentry snapshot action and you can see it's a very simple set and you can see we're leveraging the Tentry Python SDK to actually execute that snapshot. It's a simple bit of code here that's being executed, but it's giving users an incredible amount of power in a self-service model. So server owners can go out and look at their systems and execute actions, get information on the backend storage performance. And this really shows the flexibility in managing different cloud resources. I could manage my on-premises cloud and have incredible Tentry orchestration automation capability put in the hands of my server owners uh, very easily. If you go out on GitHub, you can find this integration. Just go out to GitHub, search for CloudBolt. That takes me to the CloudBolt Forge. This is where CloudBolt stashes all of their uh, uh, integrations and UI extensions. Click UI extensions and you can see the Tentry folder. And the Tentry folder has a readme and has all of the uh, existing actions that have been developed by the CloudBolt community. So it's dead simple integration. Uh, once you have the integration deployed on your CloudVault environment, you can start to leverage the Tentry Enterprise Cloud capabilities. You can see the power and elegance of the Tentry CloudVault integration. This includes real-time performance visualizations that make it simple to pinpoint the root cause of common application performance issues with zero storage training and zero guesswork. And CloudBolt integrates Tentry-based per-VM data management services that provide cloud consumers with the ability to do things like orchestrate VM-level snapshots, clones, and replicas, all without tedious interactions with legacy IT ticketing systems. Thanks for watching.